Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 26, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can join our signal service. And uh, now at this point, nearly 100 traders that are active using that system and you'll get access to our full technical analysis and live trace. So you can find the link down below this video to our Patreon channel. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, nothing happened today. It has been an extremely slow moving market. Um, the S&P 500 is down 0 0.23. And uh, yes, you can see there's absolutely no movement. We are still, you can basically see that we're trading underneath this uh, resistance line that I've uh, I've added here. And uh, yes, we'll, this probably is due to the uh, upcoming holidays and, uh, and so on. But at this point, I think that we are going to go a little bit lower before we go higher. We are, technically indicators for the S&P 100 are fairly mixed. So the MACD is is turning flat, RSI is uh, bearish, and the CCI is bearish, while the stochastic is bullish. So it, it is extremely difficult to say where we're going at this point. Uh, I do not favor the upside right now. I think that we'll pull back towards the 20 exponential around uh, uh, 3,531, which is a 20 exponential at this point, and that would also coincide with these previous highs. Uh, of course, we need to break this um, um, support level in order to get to that 20 exponential moving average, and that is around 3,586. So it's just a way to see. It's not a good idea to buy it here. This is basically at the all-time highs. A pullback towards uh, the 50 moving average is what I would prefer, around 3,400 or 3,000. 500. I would basically be all over it, all over this if that were the case. But at this point, it's just a waiting game in order to see this where if it falls, which I do expect it to do within the next next few trading days. So let's look at the Dow Jones. We can see that we have fallen also in the Dow Jones. Um, we'll probably find quite a lot of support here around uh, 29,200 or 29,300, which is the previous highs here, and also where the 20 exponential moving average uh, will, be, will be located at this point. So we may fall uh, a few percent. We fell around half a percent today. This is a fall of a further 2.2%. Further, uh, and of course, if we fall another 2.2%, that I'm pretty sure that a lot of buyers will come in when we get to this point. We are, the, the technical indicators for Dow Jones are also fairly mixed at this point. Uh, MACD is becoming flat and turning around. The RSI is very bearish, the same is for the CCI, but the stochastic is very bullish, so they're not very helpful at this point. But I would, would expect up uh, a fall towards uh, this um, support area here and um, then we basically go higher towards uh, 13,500 or 31,000. This is a market that is going to go higher within time. There is more stability in the market now uh, than it has been for a very long time and um, yes it's just a matter of uh, just wait until it falls toward the 20 exponential moving average in order to go higher. Uh, the best thing here would be basically the fall towards the 50, but that is very, very optimistic. So if we have the NASDAQ, we can see that we have gone a little bit higher in the NASDAQ. We're up with nearly half a percent. So the S&P 100 and the Dow Jones have been rallying significantly more than the, than the, than the NASDAQ in the in recent weeks so we have some um some uh, catch catching up to do in the nasdaq so i'm pretty sure that we'll get to these highs and uh, and uh, that is around the growth around 3.1 percent and that will happen within 
not this week, but probably sometimes next week. And um, if we manage to break this uh, resistant area, then of course we are going to go much higher. So the difference between the other indexes and the Nasdaq is that the Nasdaq has been rallying for a very, very long time. Uh, we saw the all-time highs here in the beginning of September. We broke down really significantly um, in September and then rallied again, then broke down again and then rallied. So we have been trading fairly sideways uh, with, a, uh, with the very lows of 10,677 and the very highs of 12,485. Uh, we're looking for a, break a breakout at this point. We can see that the 100 moving average is significant support. So every time we break down towards the, the 100 moving average, that is a massive uh, buying opportunity for everybody that's investing in the NASDAQ. And yes, so this is an index that you sh or indice that you should not be shorting. It is made to go higher in time. So catching these massive falls this one and this one, that is where you earn money in the NASDAQ. It is not by buying at this stage, but when it falls and then buys. And shorting this is a really bad idea. So if you look at the stocks that are driving the NASDAQ, so we have, for example, Netflix here is up 0.15%. And as I said yesterday, I would bought this stock because it is running into major resistance at 100, 150 moving average around uh, 480 and at this point we're going at least to the 40 exponential the 50 if we break this area here we go significantly higher as you can see we are trading with a very high of 574 we've been here twice nearly three times and we've been to the very lows of 466 many 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 times so it is just a matter of time before we head back towards the highs. And that is where I am targeting. So this is a trade of a gain of around 20.3%. Uh, that is a really, really, really good trade, which I expect will happen within the next two, three weeks there, give or take. So we have uh, Microsoft. Microsoft uh, rallied and then broke down again today. At this point, uh, I think we are going higher. We are trading above all of these moving averages and they are also acting as uh, support at this point. So the target here is 225. If that breaks, we're going to 233. Uh, break below here, the, the 150 at the 204 is massive uh, support at this point. So, but I'm favoring the upside. Look at technical indicators for for Microsoft, they are, well, they are mixed, but uh, this should be a very good sign for this stock that we are going to go higher. MACD is also turning around, but the, the RSI is still very negative. So if you look at Apple, Apple is up 0.68% uh, today. We ran into resistance at the 20 exponential, that is 116, but it is only a matter of time before we break this and go to these very highs. This has also been trading sideways for a very long time now with the first major resistance at 125 and then to the old time highs at 138. This will almost guarantee be our next target. If this breaks, then we are going to these very highs. So this is also stock I bought yesterday. And uh, the reason for that is because the 100 and 100 moving average has been significant support, which we basically hit yesterday. So these technical indicators will turn around. The RSI, the MACD, and uh, the stochastic has started to turn around. So it's only a matter of time, probably one or two trading days, and then we'll see a massive move to the upside. Amazon, we have rallied to 1.67% today. We pierced the 100 moving average and then broke down again. But this is looking really, really good at this point. We, If we break above the 100 moving average, then we are going to 3,292. And then to these highs, 3,372. And then to these all-time highs. All of these indicators are turning around and this is a very promising stock uh, and very looking really bullish at this point. Tesla is again um, 
well, up 2.45% at this current point. 569 um, is the Tesla stock. I can just get rid of this. So we have these very highs and these very lows. At this point, this stock is significantly overbought. So do expect a pullback um, in this stock. And where we'll pull back to is probably these previous highs. So I can just put it back there. We can also see that this is also where the area where we um, where we uh, rallied you know, three trading days ago. So uh, on Monday, I should say. So a pullback towards 503, that will be major support and will most likely rally again from there. We are overbought. These technical indicators, some of them are becoming flat. That's a rarely bad sign. We are, we have been outside the upper Bollinger Band for a significant amount of time now. So don't be surprised if we have a major red candlestick here tomorrow or on Friday's session. MACD is still very bullish. If you look at uh, Facebook, we uh, rallied, then broke down again, found support at the 40 exponential moving average. That is at 272. At this point, I think we're going to go higher because these technical indicators are turning around. Both the CCI, Stochastic, um, and the Bollinger, and the, also the MACD is also turning around. But the RSI is still very negative. We're almost oversold. So the person that basically bought down here did a really nice trade. It, this is a move of uh, roughly you know, 5 or 6% in three days. And... We are going to go much higher. This move is roughly 14.5%. And it will most likely take uh, a few weeks in order to get to those highs. But I do not favor the downside here. I do favor the upside, mainly to these changes in these indicators. So look at Google. Google is still sticking to this very small range here. The 20 exponential moving average is acting as major support. And these previous highs of 1,821 are acting as, as resistant. Well, what you can say, uh, these technical indicators are all over the place. Uh, Stochastic is bullish, uh, CCI is bullish, but these two indicators are fairly flat at this point. So it is fairly hopeless to say where we're going at this point. If we br break down again towards the 20 exponential and then bounce, then of course, if you like this small ranges, then then this probably is the stock for you. I would prefer a drop all the way down to the 50 in order to buy this, but that is probably not going to happen. So I hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.